On the Mac or PC, of course, you've got the various function keys along the top. They're pretty grubby on mine. Well, what you can do, you, if you want the function keys in Photoshop, you have to press the function key down here. That's on the Mac, so press that and then press F5. That gets up the brushes panel. Also, you can press F6, etc. but you always need to be holding the function key down as well. The only panels that you can display with the function keys by default in Photoshop, brush settings, colors, layers, and info and actions. So let's just go to the function key and press F5. Hold both down and it displays brush settings. Press it again, goes. Do the same for F6 and that's color. Then go for F7, or the function key in F7. You get layers, F8, you get info, and now you think F9, what you need to do, you also need to hold down the alter option key and F9. And that will display the actions. The other ones are slightly different. They're cut, copy and paste, and also toggle. So let's just go for copy. So go to function key and F3, and that will copy the current selection. Function key and F4 will paste it. And again, you can do it again, and you can see it creates multiple layers. Also, you can use F2 to cut. Also, you've got the option edit and toggle last date, and that's the function key F1. You can change it. You don't have to keep it as Photoshop sets it. So if you use the history panel or some other panel more than any of the others, just change it. Go to the edit menu and down to menus, and you can change the panels. So simply go here, make sure you go for keyboard shortcuts, not the menus one. You've got all the options down here for applications menu. And just go down to window and expand that out. And you can see as you go down there, you'll notice obviously you've got very few are actually set up. You've got F5, brush settings. You've got F6, color. Well, you can change those. Now I'm not gonna change those ones there, but you can change them if you want. You can simply click and change it to something else. It will warn you if it's matching something else. So say I want gradients, I use gradients a lot. So I'm just gonna click there and you can see now, I've got that one and it's just available there. Again, function key, option, because that's all you've really got now. Say F3. So if I click that and you can see it will pop up like that. And again, press return and I've now got option and F3. So click okay. So now I go to my function key, option, and F3, and it brings up the gradients. If I go to function key, option, and F1, it brings up the history, which is really useful for me. Hopefully you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.